Marine transport on Lake Victoria is about to get a major navigation boost. Now this follows the completion of the rehabilitation works of MV Pamba, which has been grounded for 16 years. The ship system have been redesigned from manual to digital to improve its efficiency, reduce crew expenses and minimize maritime risks. This was the state of marine vessel Pamba in 2019 in a dilapidated state. And this is the same vessel two years down the road after undergoing massive rehabilitation costing billions of shillings. It's a budget is around 3.5 million US dollars. 3.5? Yes, that's what we have invested on the rehabilitation. The major difficulties is that, you know, it's a, a ship is like a car. When it's moving, it's easier to realize the problems. But when we took over MV Pamba, it was immobilized and it was stopped. So many problems, we, really, we only realize the problems later on. The ship which is soon to sail on Lake Victoria will be a major boost to marine transport in the East African region and more so to the Central Corridor, which has in the recent months been served by only one ship, the MV Kawa. We can do business cheaper by exploiting this route of the lake. This is one of the models of transport which have not been exploiting maximally and which we should because it reduces and uh, it, it helps on a number of things. You reduce on tear and wear of the trucks, you reduce on tear and wear of the roads, you reduce on the pollution on the roads because uh, all those trucks on the roads you can imagine the kind of gases and fumes they put out there. So it's a very, very beneficial route. MV Pamba had been grounded for 16 years after it was involved in a grisly accident. The ship, which has been fitted with the latest marine transport technologies to boost efficiency and received fresh paint, is expected to benefit immensely the business community, especially bulk importers and exporters. Uh, MV Pamba has been under rehab rehabilitation it is now undergoing tests, so that is another vessel on the lake. Uh, MV Pamba is the same capacity as uh, MV Kawa. It has a capacity of 22 wagons, and it takes 18 to 20 hours across the lake from Mwanza to Port Bell or Mwanza to Jinja. However, small-scale traders like Aimebo Mbarushimana, who imports animal feeds from Tanzania through the port of Mwanza, is making an appeal for a tariff review from Uganda Railways Corporation in order to enable him shift from the small vessels to the bigger and more efficient large ships plying the Port Bell Luzira Mwanza route. In our corridor, the, the, sh the ship is cheaper for larger corporation, larger institution. There we are competing with WFP. Uh, there is also Starbucks uh, International. So the standards they put the tariffs for them are a bit high. Depending on the volume of cargo that you have, uh, rail, would, rail and marine would be your best bet if it's bulk cargo. Now, when it's small cargo, there is a, another discussion we'll have to have with the client. The return of MV Pamba comes at a time when the Central Corridor route has in the recent months experienced a spike in imports and exports. The newly refurbished vessel has 880 tons capacity and can carry 22 wagons. Currently, Uganda Railways Corporation has a $92 per ton promotional rate for bulk cargo from the port of Dar es Salaam to Port Bell. What we are doing, we are giving a cheaper route. Uh, currently, across the lake, we are doing uh, 21 to 23 dollars per ton. Uh, this is when you have loaded the bulk cargo on the on the on the on the vessel. So um, we see that uh, there will be a lot of trade uh, coming from the availability of these vessels crossing the lake and giving a, a customer uh, timely delivery of cargo from either country. The Minister of Works and Transport says it has a plan of further developing water transport. One of the key initiatives is the development of an international standard port in Bukasa, Kampala. Port Bell is going to remain for tourism, for passenger and for local cargo. Bukasa port was chosen because one, it is located in Kampala Industrial and Business Park 
where all factories will be located. Two, it is not be linked with meter gauge railway and standard gauge railway. Three, it is also going to be linked by a, a road network. So the space three, the space is also very big because it will be on 400 hectares. So we are going to have a very big port within the next uh, three years where all the international cargo will be coming. Mango Tree, a Chinese engineering group which is doing the repairs, says the works are almost 100% complete and expects the ship to have its maiden voyage by September this year. Dennis Igor for UBC News.